Hey guys, welcome back to another book opening video. This time we have a huge parcel. So this one has a few orders in, so I'll cut this open. Let's see what I've got. Ah. So I'm not convinced that I've actually got enough space to open this properly on camera. So as mentioned, we've got a few books in this parcel. So we've got The Hobbit Sketchbook by Alan Lee. We'll maybe take a look at this in another video. And then we've got two massive heavy books. We've got The Art of Game of Thrones and also here we have The Photography of Game of Thrones. Another massive heavy book. So we're going to have a look at The Art of Game of Thrones book. Let's take a quick look at the cover. Uh, sorry, my lighting is quite strong. So if there are reflective surfaces, it is a bit of a pain. It's a nice cover. So let's get straight into this. Flick through a few pages. Some nice art to get started there. So I tried to show the contents on camera so that people can at least pause the video and see what's in the book. And I will be skipping a couple of pages at a time because if it's anything like the costumes book that I reviewed or previewed the other week, it is big, um, to put it bluntly. There are a lot of pages to it. So obviously these have arrived now. If you watched my video last week, you'll know when I was previewing the costumes book, um, none of the other books in the order had arrived yet, so you know that's why I started with that one. It was a very nice book, very high quality, very well made. Um, this looks like it's going to be the same. Decent quality paper, hardback, very weighty. I'm assuming this one will be around 400 pages again. I will double check that shortly. So I don't want to repeat too much of everything I mentioned in the last one. But these are quite expensive books. And I have ordered all three, like you saw I've got the photography book as well. We'll maybe look at that in another video. And before I ordered these, I started by looking at some reviews on Amazon. And at the time of making this, there isn't that many reviews because obviously these books have only just come out. But the costumes and the photography ones both had really good reviews. Um, whereas the art of book, which is the one we're looking at here, had some very good reviews, but also some not so good reviews. And from what I read, people complained the most that whilst it is a nice book, there wasn't much in terms of concept art and things like that, which is ironic because I'm seeing things now that look pretty good to me. But um, people were saying that there isn't much character design and that a lot of it is um, more to do with the landscapes, um, which people like, but you know, 400 pages of it, you would maybe expect more. Again, I'm saying all this and whilst I'm looking on camera, there actually seems to be a lot more than just locations to me. All the location images that have been painted look like they are, they sometimes include characters and things like that, even battle scenes I've noticed that we've passed so far. And whilst I showed the contents on camera, I didn't actually look through it myself. So I'm not sure how this book is categorised, how it's organised. If it's anything like the costume book, it's done by houses, and factions, let's call it. I think it started with um, House Stark and related houses and then went to Lannisters and things like that. So yeah, I am prepared that there is going to be a lot of landscapes or locations. And it makes sense because Westeros or Game of Thrones is pretty big map, pretty big locations. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm seeing some really nice artwork so far and some really big images as well. I wasn't sure if like some art books it would be, you know, there's a few tiny ones with a bit of text. This does have some text, as you can see, but the the quality of the photos or the paintings and the size of them, like this double page spread, are pretty big. I'm honestly amazed already at how many paintings there are in it of such high quality. And I always say these books are more of a luxury um, when they are of books compared to, you know, tutorial books and learning. Um, they still have their place, they're still good, you can still learn things from them. And for me, I find them quite inspiring. But as already mentioned, they can come with quite a heavy price tag. So I do class them as luxury items. And I was fortunate enough to get a fairly good deal on these before it came out because the price kept changing every day leading up to the release date. Obviously, artists are probably going to be one of the biggest buyers of these books. But I can imagine a lot of just Game of Thrones fans in general wanting these books. They are very, very much like a collector's type thing. They're full of good content, but 
you know, they do look like they're nice things to own. Some of these paintings actually look almost like photos. I'm wondering if they're actually um, made up of photos, some of them. There's definitely a, a, a wide variety, a mix of the painting styles. And as I say, some of them are photos. We've got some sculptures here, some paintings. I've noticed as well that there's quite a large colour range. Um, that's something that jumps out to me. Obviously, you've got these sort of dull halls and stuff, but the way a lot of these scenes are lit up introduces some really strong colours. So when we've been passing pages, I've noticed like here we've got a really nice green, some more greens. Now that I've said that, we're all onto greens. But what I mean is I wasn't sure if this was all going to be just like dull, very realistic, maybe a little bit of a field with some dull scenery. But it's actually very vibrant. Oh, there is a lot of vibrant work in there. There's a bit of everything, though. That is what I was trying to say, that there are some very vibrant paintings and definitely some really iconic scenes, iconic locations for anyone who has seen the Game of Thrones series. Maybe if you've read the Game of Thrones books as well, you would probably enjoy these, but the artwork for these, I believe, is what was made for the series, hence why all the characters and locations look familiar, if you watch Game of Thrones, that is. And I've noticed some battle scenes, I've seen some weapons in detail. Um, I'm wondering if there's any armour and things like that in here. I'm thinking maybe they won't be much in terms of armour, purely for the fact that there is a costume book which had armour in it. So, although that wasn't paintings as much as photos, I don't think they're going to put that much of it in here. But you never know. And before I forget, let's take a look at the page count. So almost 430 pages to this one, which is very similar to the last one. If you haven't watched all of Game of Thrones yet, I should probably have pointed out, you know, potentially maybe you will pick up a few things from this and there might be a few spoilers, so hopefully I've not ruined anything for anyone. I've not noticed anything too bad yet. So I class Game of Thrones as, um, well, as a fantasy type book, you know, it's got dragons in, it's got a lot of things we all know and love. But it does it in quite a realistic way. Um, it's quite quite violent as well, but I don't think that there's many paintings in here that probably show that too much. But yeah, I, I am really into fantasy, so I love fantasy art. But the way it's done is very realistic. He says whilst moving on to dragons. I do like that there is a bit on dragons, but it doesn't look like there is much on it. Maybe there's some more throughout. As I said, I'm skipping a lot of pages at the time, so... I just wanted to show this more as a preview for those of you who are interested in buying the book but a little bit unsure about spending that much money. I'm, I'm genuinely really impressed with the quality of the artwork though. It's a lot more rendered, polished and finished than I was expecting. There are some sort of technical sketches and of the locations and things which is pretty cool but I was not expecting this much detail. And I'm sorry about the... Um, strip of light in here. It's quite glossy paper, so I can't do too much about that. And as a big Game of Thrones fan, it's quite nice looking through these. Just brings back each scene, uh, iconic moments and things like that. I need to rewatch Game of Thrones. It's been a while. They're quite big scenes as well in some of these. It's not just, you know, a painting of a person, maybe one building. There is a bit of that, but there's quite, quite large scenes depicted, quite battle scenes that have got a lot of people in it. I never know how to start with pieces like that myself. I would love to give credit to the artists, but hopefully you've picked up on some of the names. I'll maybe try and mention some in the comments below because I'm not actually familiar with who was in or who did a lot of the art for Game of Thrones. But definitely a lot of respect to them because it really is looking like a beautiful book. It's very well put together. So if you are a big fan, hopefully this video was useful to you. I did one about spoilers earlier. <laughs> okay. So... I am going to leave it at that and one thing I will say when you do close these up is just be very careful of the cover on these because it does pull it from the other side and you don't want to damage these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might take a look at the photography book as well on camera for those that are interested. Obviously we already know what to expect from it though, photographs, but yeah it might be pretty cool. So as always if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys are reading. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.